and staying with security concerns, the Nigerian Army says there has been tremendous success in the fight against insurgency in the Northeast, with many insurgents surrendering and massive ammunitions being seized by its troops. General Officer Commanding 7th Division of the Nigerian Army, Brigadier General Haruna Ibrahim, who spoke during an assessment visit, confirmed that no fewer than 386 victims have been rescued in the Sambisa forest since their abduction 10 years ago. TVC News senior reporter Jesse Tafida has details. The Nigerian army on the move. And the battle continues to get tougher. It's been years of intensive onslaught against Boko Haram insurgents. And this has paid off. Operation Desert Sanity 3 is responsible for this special quest. Operation to clear Sambisa of the remnants of uh, the Boko Haram, and in fact all the terrorists available. Our effort is to ensure that we clear them, give more rules for those who want to resign, or retire or surrender, as the case may be, to us. Some have been inhibitants to those, uh, the process of surrendering. We went deep into the trenches of the dusty Sambisa forest with the military. Eleven years ago, this was a no-go area, but not anymore. You can see we have MRAPs, we have almost all types of uh, military vehicles, apart from tanks. We have them here. We have rescued some of the civilians, we have recovered some of our equipment, and they are going to serve us. No, they are a plus. This success is recorded was made possible after Nigeria's president, Bola Tinubu, assured of maximum support from his government. For too many years, Nigeria has faced dangerous, shadowy enemies whose sole aim is to overturn our democratic and peaceful way of life. Despite their efforts, we hold their to the vision of a nation stronger yet. The tax before you is compelling as it is vital. With this moral booster, the Nigerian army has pledged to end the Boko Haram insurgency in no time. Jesse Tafida, TVC News, Sambisa.